beaten as a child, left for dead, sexually molested with a hole in his head. Clifford Pisano is today's American hero. He fights for rights, his employment rights, and for the environmental rights of the community at 525 Beach Street in Revere, Mass. He has the chutzpah to do what many men with larger brains won't. And I'm going to follow him every step of the way. We're here at KingCast.net with Clifford Pisano. But Mr. Pisano, what are you doing today? I'm doing two matters. I'm getting a summons that wasn't given to me yesterday when I have four defendants, only three of them was given to me. They bring us around, sent us to Cambridge Courthouse, which is no longer there. They sent us over to Medford, to Middlesex Courthouse. They told us they couldn't do anything because we don't have a case in their court. So I'm back here at Superior Court to file an amendment on my 21E case. After law school, I was a zoning coordinator and I've been a zoning manager, so I went down to City Hall and I pulled the proof that there's been gasoline storage on site. Now, how is it that the developers have ZBA uh, variances without any Phase 1 or Phase 2 compliance to this point? Okay, now yesterday your case was, was about your employment being terminated, correct? Correct. Okay. And uh, the defendants in that case include whom? The former mayor of Revere, the former police captain, a federal mm -hmm. inmate. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is still an inmate. Yeah, a federal inmate mm -hmm. in North Carolina. Right, and his name is Todd Randall, right? Yes. Yes, and you guys, so a former mayor, Ambrosino, who's now here at the Supreme Judicial Court right. as administrator. Right. You've got him, then you've got uh, Mr. Randall, and then you've also got the former police captain, right? Murphy, Michael Murphy? Right, who's now chief of Boston. In the city of Revere. Okay, and basically they terminated you as a crossing guard without any hearing. Is that what you're telling Correct. us? Correct. Okay, and I understand you were a union organizer. Okay. Yes. I understand you were a union organizer. Yes. I see. No due process, no police report was shown, no incident number. Um, it, it was basically all bogus. I mean, charges were trumped up against me and they were used as basis to fire me. And end of story, the paperwork all speak for itself. Gotcha. And so today, now you're here on the issue uh, regarding the property next to you. You're in a butter. Yes. At 525 uh, Beach Street. Correct. I see. And uh, you're filing what today? I'm filing an amendment on my complaint. I see. And what are you, what are you asking for in that amendment? I'm asking for everything to be done correctly. Everything to be done in order if it's going to be done. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. All right, let's uh, see what happens when we go in then, shall we? All right. That's a no-no. What's that? That's a no-no. Who says? The court, you can't do that here. I'm medium. I'm just videoing him filing. Go ahead. Go ahead. Somebody's got to help him file, right? Sir, you can't do that. Who says? I'm media. I can't video him. I'm media. I'm media. I'm media.